is up? Yo, what's Hello? happening? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I can what's up? see you. So in the house, we have all of the vendors in here. Give yourselves a round. Yo, we got a full house. We, we got a full house. Y'all have done everything but shoot a monkey to the moon today. You hear me? So the Contact main is shit. So, uh, Miss Bay, if you're out there, I love you. Bay Baker, I love you. But I, I think you got a little competition in your non-infused and infused vegan food by Miss Tankness. Oh, uh-oh. uh-oh. And hey, hey, you know how I love, you know, Bay Baker's food, but uh, we got Miss Thankless in the house and everything. We got uh, Lazy Casterdam in the house. Uh, we have the uh, new entrepreneur, and we have a new vendor here today. So give a clap for everybody here today. You can catch them here every Tuesday, 12 to 10, and some of them here on Fridays for Fire Fridays from 12 to 8. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Live from the Corner. Thank you. I am Bridgie Taylor. I'm Radio Red. And I am definitely your boy AI. So what was up, man? How's everybody weekend? I wasn't. All right, man. You know, uh, Boom and I uh, went to a uh, art exhibit uh, at Blind Wino. That was pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, hip-hop art exhibit by Andrew Katz, who does, who, who does appear on Boom's uh, show here on Fridays from 5 to 6. Uh, he's a dope artist, hip-hop artist. Uh, he has exhibit at Blind Wino. That's going until... I'll check with uh, Boom on that, but that was dope. And uh, saw uh, what's that? Uh, Deadpool two. The shit was crazy, oh, man. Was it? That shit was did crazy. You like it? Did you skip Thanos and then went to go see? Nah, that? nah, nah. I, I seen it. I already seen that though. Oh, you saw it? I seen oh, that, okay. but Deadpool just came out. That shit was. That shit was crazy. It's definitely I not a children's movie out. for sure. I got oh, you. Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. So nobody up here watched the Queen's wedding. No. no. I mean, the, who? The Duchess. Or, really nobody watched the that? wedding. No, nope. nobody was up at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, you know, most of the ladies, most of the ladies. I in was, the house, uh, I was up at six, but I I'm wasn't watching sure. TV. Oh, for real? What was you doing at six o'clock in the morning? Going to the bathroom, so I can go back to bed. Thank you. Thank you for the rip. Okay, okay. So everybody out there wants to know. I need a vision. Number one and number two. No, 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 we don't. Golden no, showers. No, we're good, we're good. <laughs> two, the golden shower took effect, everybody. She was watching XX videos. No, porn no. up. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. I went to the restroom. <laughs> anyway, speaking my weekend. Actually, you know, uh, actually speaking, speaking of porn hub, porn hub, and Wendy's, if you're out there watching, yo, we, we mess with you hard. Yeah, y'all you need know what to, saying? Um, Shit, man. Y'all need to come talk to y'all us. Y'all can pay these bills. Y'all, come talk to us. Y'all gonna be a sparse and everything. Hell, we need to buy some of your porn hard socks and hang them from, the, hang them from right here. Wendy's, I've been trying to figure out why the fuck your burger square for like 38 years. <laughs> I deserve sponsorship, bro. Oh, it's all yeah. good. So, you know, speaking of porn, right, which seems to be a frequent topic on this show. Uh-huh. <laughs> no lately, safe corner over here. <laughs> lately. So, uh, there's a porn act- actor by the name of Mo the Monster. <laughs> Mo the Monster decided to sue uh, uh, the studio he's working for for <laughs> they uh, they uh, discrimination. And what happened was he was shooting a scene and when it came to the money shot, uh, the actress uh, called him nigga twice. Now, he was approached by the director twice before to say, hey, she's going to say this to you. Do you mind? What you said, no, I don't do that. I don't, you know. He speaks about racism publicly a lot. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And she was there at one and of the meetings, there, and he told her no. And she decided to call him the N-word twice regardless. And we got a clip of that. A black male porn star is suing a production company claiming the white female star he was working with called him the N-word. Maurice McKnight, who works professionally as Mo the Monster, claims he was called the racist term twice without his consent while filming a scene for a porn video, which was posted online. He filed a lawsuit against DF Productions Inc. and director James Camp on Thursday at Los Angeles County Superior Court. In the suit, the adult film star claims that Camp asked him twice if he would consent to being called the N-word while filming the scene on July 12th last year, but he said no. Maurice McKnight works as Mo the Monster. Image, Getty Image is North America. America. If I hear one more that damn robot voice, right. I'm going to kill myself. So, well, that's what them women uh, <laughs> robots going to be like when y'all, them sex You the one with all the damn like robots. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One of the damn hold up before we even get into this, okay? Because this is about porn anyway, right? But before we get into this, one of the one of the fucking vendors in here got infused something for the goddamn clitoris. I am sick. 
And I'm putting the APB out. When are they going to have something infused for my balls? Put it on there. I need there. something infused for my balls, Just bro. take it and put it on there. I need a, I need a ball infusion that makes my shit tingle. Just this put is it on my there. What yeah. else do y'all need? <laughs> yeah, you got all the sex toys in first the world. Of all, first of all, we need the you extra have... stuff because it takes us longer to get aroused. Uh, get the because hell out of here. it takes us longer to obtain an orgasm. What? So we need extra help. If you're not going to be down there doing your do like you're supposed to, then do not complain about the extra Let's materials get back on the subject, that I'm being made to help us out. This is the reason why my man is suing right now because women don't listen. And he I'm sat up there and called him the N word, bro. Now, this is now, everybody out there, this supposedly happened because. He probably got frustrated because he said he was trying to do the money shot. So evidently, the N word and the money shot don't mix with this young brother right here or this old brother. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? The, the, the thing is that I find interesting is when you look at porn, there's all sorts of porn. You got fetishes, <laughs> you know, uh, and part of some people's fetishes is being called the N word. They signed up for that, and some other people's fetishes could be, you know, uh, being with somebody. Uh, I used to see porn somebody wearing, you know, uh, rubber flags. Bro, I've seen them all. So this, this clearly wasn't I've seen his, every porn. Yeah, right. So this, this clearly wasn't his thing. <laughs> so if he was telling the truth by being approached twice and he said no, regardless of his industry, you respect the man's wishes. Yeah, they, they should have picked someone <laughs> else if that was the case. They should have gotten someone else. Now I thought that was hell funny that you know he's standing on these on these principles. Right, which is it's okay to have some. Yeah, it's good to have some. Right, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but what's more degrading? They call a nigga watch some porn. Bruh, I can <laughs> hear porn now. Itself, right? bruh, I can hear the meat now, sir. Look, I will come in a, b- a woman's any any orifice she has, but I cannot be called the n word right. while I'm coming inside right. of her orifice. Right. Like, bro, like that doesn't even make any you sense. You out there, bruh. you know what I'm saying? You making her a slut on camera, but you worry about being called a nigga. Yeah, <laughs> while I'm in her butt. Well, that's right. what I'm worried about. So that, that's, I that's that, that, that was pretty. That, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty pretty weird, bro. That's weird, right? Weird. Well, he was offended. Would you be offended? Yes. But you doing porn? But I mean, I wouldn't be doing porn. You you sure? We can go back to a couple tapes where you was trying to like advertise to do porn. Um, that's personal. It's on camera. It it's not personal camera. anymore. No, it wouldn't be on camera. Back to you, Breezy. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> yeah, have you ever got to the point where you just want to say, "Man, damn this job, I'm out. I want to quit." Right? Yeah. You know, some most mo- folks might give a two weeks notice. Some folks just might not show up. My man out of Kansas City decided to take it another route. So he took, I quit, take the job and shove it to a whole new level. My man made a music video behind his quitting Classic. this damn job. Classic. We got a video of that. We got a video of that. I don't know, man. What's going on, What's bro? Check this out, man. Look, I'm outside my job. Right? I quit this month, bro. You, you about to quit, bro? You really gonna do it? Shit, you think I'm not about to do it? This nigga, man, I'm he's tired of this month. I'm tired of this month. Bro, you bro. saying it, bro? What I you gonna do? I, listen, I come in here and slave all the time. They think I'm about to just go in there and be like, you know, I quit, I quit. Nah, nigga, I'm about to go in here and sing this shit. All right, you saying yeah. it? You gonna be the first one in history to go? You gonna nigga, keep the apron on, nigga? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna snatch it you off. You know what I'm saying? Let me, hey, Papa, is, hey, hey, I'm quitting this month. Bro. Okay. I'm quitting. I'm, quitting. I'm done with this job. Bro. All right, okay, bro. Hand me the mic. Hit that bitch on. Man, we about to do this shit, bro. Let's see if you really gonna do it, man. Let's go. This nigga really about to quit, man. It's all nigga. Tired of this job, bro. I do want to see you more, man. I found a better job anyway. Found a better job. That's all nigga say. Yeah, all right. Sir, quitting my job today. So I got an announcement. What's that? So I'm quitting my job today. Sorry to say my name. Here we go. Hey, he quit the job. Hey, let him know you about to quit. Look. I don't really want to work here no more. Uh-huh. Can't tell the job. We got the chicken on the floor. Uh-huh. Uh, look. I don't really want to work here no more. Can't let me find somebody to cover my shit to a home. I'm going to go on I don't really want to work here. Somebody cover my shit though. Uh, and I'm tired of this shit. Uh, and I'm busy trying to shit though. Uh, hey, and I'm done with this. Uh, 
Hey, he's done. Hey, hold on. Hey, did y'all want to go to the Yep, yep. Uh, I don't work here no more. You don't want to work no more. Uh. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Work here no more. Uh, he mad back there. Uh. Now, the irony of that video was he didn't work at the Popeyes anyways. Really? Oh. Yeah. Cedric Worker, that's his name, revealed he didn't even work at that Popeyes in the first place. His homeboy that was recording, they make videos. Mm. They made they make uh, YouTube videos. So he went in, just to make people laugh and smile, and quit a job that he didn't have. Now, what's funny about that, my nigga came from behind the counter with a bucket of chicken and a whopper shit. <laughs> <laughs> that That's crazy. crazy, bro. That's crazy. So, like, again, so if all the way to quit a job that you actually have, now you can add making a rap video to the list of that. God dang. <laughs> that, was, that was one hell of a move right there, everybody. Talking about he gonna tell if you want to go viral, that's, that's how you got to do it nowadays. Yeah. I seen him miss the boat every time. I thought streaking through, like, College campuses was cool. That make you go viral. That never, I've never oh, no, went viral for that. Now. No, I never went viral for that. That get you locked up. That get you. I never got locked up neither. That, that, that get you a pit of viral. I wonder how I'm getting away with that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but so now you know. So thanks to Cedric Worker of Kansas City, you can now quit your job in a miserable form. The confessions right? of life from the corner. But, please, but please quit the job that you actually work at. Right. How about right. that? Wait, I can't believe he did. Well, so, gotta you know, give it to him. At least he went viral. I mean, he got he got, he got the that. most out of it. So you know, you know yeah. So he you found know, out about it. Yeah, we gotta found be about viral. It. So you know, this in addition to this. Well, how fast the hell food, he get the Popeyes uniform? You can buy them anywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's anywhere. khakis and a red shirt. And, and no, it had it had Popeyes no. and everything. No, no. They, they, still they still use right. pens. They not paying for that embroidery. He probably, the, he probably know somebody. What the hell? What the hell? Indian person you know that owns a Popeyes that's gonna embroider. Your name on the shirt. Not how much extra money that cost? It said Popeyes. I didn't say his name. No, he so, put the pin on. He had the pin on. He just buy khakis and red shirt. But the red shirt, shirt He looked like Jake from Allstate. <sighs> Move <Moving> on. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this has not been a good, I guess, a, a, a month for fast food restaurants. <laughs> and uh, in Canada, uh, it's not exempt from that list, too. So, uh, Tim Hortons, which is a family uh, 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 familiar uh, fast food restaurant chain out of Canada had somebody came in and wanted to use the bathroom, but unlike the two black men in Philadelphia, she decided to go about it differently. And she wasn't already arrested, but she did something else that's kind of crazy. And we got a video yeah, watch of that. Yeah, watch this. Very young. Bathroom at Tim Hortons in Canada. And she's going off. Yeah. No, they, they said that they dealt with her before, uh, and they it's not in their policy to not let people use the bathroom, whether they pay or not, because they had problems with her before, they decided to not let her use the bathroom. Oh, okay. And she picked it, all right, and she all right, scooped all right, it up in one... Back, Hold oh, the fuck up. Y'all say ill, but did you see how clean the fucking floor That's was, what I'm though? She scooped it, it up. There was no in residue on that swipe. floor, yeah. That was fake shit. Yeah, did y'all peep that? Anybody peep that? Nobody peeped that. She picked that up. Can you please one rewind swipe. it when it first dropped no, no, on the no, goddamn no. floor? The floor no, is as soon clean. as she no, pick cool. it up. The floor is clean. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. No, as soon as she picks it up. Alright, we back. So, bruh. Alright, we back. So. <laughs> She should have gone way past. Let me speak to your manager, bro. <laughs> she uh, updated yeah. her software and went straight to shitty day. You hear she, me? She should have gone way past. Let me speak to your manager. That's nasty. 
That's and then she gonna pick it up, wipe her butt, and throw. It was one part where she rubbed it on the counter. So how many of y'all ever wanted to do that to your boss though, or somebody like behind the counter? No. Nobody. Nobody. No. Nobody. No. No. Okay. No. Right. <laughs> no. Cuss them out, maybe. But now, no. it's one thing to actually do it in the rest in the restaurant. She threw it at the people. Can you imagine trying to dodge shit? <laughs> bro, I have never dodged like, how, shit before, how bro. Mad, like, go to the zoo with how, the monkey. Up, <laughs> how mad do you have to be at someone? <laughs> what is that? Like, how... What was that? How mad do you have to be to do that? To throw at somebody? Bro, you got like, to how be... how pissed you got to be, right? You have to be pissed off. No, shit it off. <laughs> Can we come up with a new word for pissed off? Like, because that, that does not fit the description of what happened there, bro. Like, shit it off, bro. All she needs is the Cleo braids, you know, instead of set it off, shit it off, man. I swear, man. Oh, my gosh. That hey, is... can you imagine trying to dodge that behind them tight-ass counters? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still stuck. As but speaking of what, but hold up, though. But hold up, though. This is mm-hmm. Canada, right? It's Canada. So all you parlez-vous, all les français people up there, you know, <laughs> y'all love that exotic joint, that, uh, the, uh, what is it, that exotic animal boo-boos out every year. They pay like $130,000 a gram or something like that for Y'all ain't never heard of that? No. Well, the, it's a, the, it's, a, um, it's a, like a lemur. It's part of the lemur family. And so like- they, Oh, the they, cocoa. The they, coffee. No, they lead, the, they lead the, uh, the coffee beans out and the biome eats it and they shit it. They yeah, shit and then they, they follow make around it with a coffee. basket. Yeah. How do you follow an animal around with a basket? They take it and dry it and grind it like coffee. And they eat it. Mm-hmm. They drink and it. And it's not even that's, a zesty, tangy taste they to it. They drink it. They say it just comes out milder. You know? That's like, not anything that I knew I wanted to even know about. <laughs> hey, I just had to educate the people. That, that's there, that's not something that I knew. I wanted to know anything about. Yeah, I saw that. You know, they they grind it. And, you don't and you make don't it drink like coffee. coffee. Do you? You, any of you? Do you drink coffee? No, I don't mm-hmm. drink okay. coffee. Okay, okay. All right, coffee. cool, cool, cool. So uh, again, this wasn't her first time coming to the particular restaurant. She got arrested. No, and she was eventually she arrested. I didn't want to touch her. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't have to handcuffed nah, though. It's not. <laughs> you know, she didn't get arrested. No, she got arrested. Oh, okay. She got arrested. She got arrested. Um, I think she got arrested for assault. That is assault. That is assault. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that is assault. That's assault, assault and battery. Yeah. She's arrested for um, uh, public disorder and assault. The assault probably going to be dropped, though, but she will get... No, that's assault. That's assault. assault. Well, not be yeah. assault. Uh, you just threw your own term out there. Yeah, that's assault. That's assault. Yeah. Assault. Yeah. Assault. Yeah. Assault. Yeah. assault. 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 They got shit thrown at them, man. I'm disgusted. Nobody's mad at all. I'm this disgusted. Joint. They just talking like ain't shit happening. Because it's like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> all right, what the pun? What the fuck? On the to the no. We're we not leaving this subject till somebody get upset of this joint. Did you Earl yet? I'm yeah. disgusted. Get this it wasn't thrown at me. But I just. Oh, fuck. Y'all are <laughs> senseless. They cold blooded out there, everybody. It wasn't thrown at me. Cold blooded. No, no, we'll take a quick break on that. No, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you for tuning in live from the corner. That's nice. we back in a couple minutes. <laughs>
everybody out there at home tuned in, thank you. Thank you again, man. Look, thank listen. You. I got a great artist that's about to perform his song, Helly and Horses, yeah. off his new album, Cold Cases, Bobby Drake. Woo! Yeah, you already know. B. Drake, the coolest cat. Yeah. Live on Listen Vision. Hellies and horses. Cold cases. 2K18. Out. <laughs> right now. Yeah. B. Drake. You already know. Yeah. Log up. From the land of hellies and horses, clones no forces, boxes in them bubbles that zigzag on them horses. When she clap to the beat, boy, and I ain't gotta force it. Only in the land of hellies and horses, hellies and horses, clones no forces, boxes in them bubbles that zigzag on them horses. When she clap to the beat, boy, and I ain't gotta force it. Only in the land of Practice, got dough in the mattress Step into the club, my phone, they looking like an atlas The weatherman, yeah, they on fire with no magic No Tay digs on my bed, a man with no tactics Ask if anybody coming for my style, boy Hell no, nah. cleaner than rooms coming down the aisle, boy Pack on those style, boy, for checking out my dick game Yeah, they all fly, and my nickname should be Lou Tank from the street where the bubbles ain't a new thing Niggas copping Chevys when the nigga got some loose chain Who can walk into the club feeling like Bruce Wayne The coolest cat taking them shots, blowing up blue flame True game, flirting with them hoes cause they already know Ain't gotta brag about no bread for them to know I got some dough Helly on my back and big horse on my chest is all I show Drinking no cool water and that can of buy for me Phones, no forces Boxes in them bubbles that zigzag on them courses When she clap to the beat, boy, and I ain't gotta force it Only in the land of hellies and horses Hellies and horses Phones, no forces Boxes in them bubbles that zigzag on them courses When she clap to the beat, boy, and I ain't gotta force it Only in the land of hellies and horses where everyone's a savage, make customers be added. Not talking H2O when they say water is they habit. Hustling is a status, you daily doing magic. Your pockets start with treats, then voila, they full of cabbage. Average, niggas and they kids be toting hammers. Shooting everybody cause they OGs and some bammers. Flexing for the cameras, used to be Ned Flanders. Now they masked up in the streets. Know about DDTP, Vontef and Madness Where real youngers used to be originals with fashion Style was in like the side of New Balance And everybody knows a Congo player with some talent When go go ain't just really really it's a passion When parties ain't remembered unless there's violent action When niggas ain't got voices but they still get hit with taxes And bubbles in them jackets help niggas to relax and uh, Phones, no forces Boxes in them bubbles that zigzag on them courses Where she clap to the beat, boy, and I ain't gotta force it Only in the land of hellies and horses Hellies and horses Phones, no forces Boxes in them bubbles that zigzag on them courses Where she clap to the beat, boy, and I ain't gotta force it Only in the land of hellies and horses Early Break. Right. When we come back from the commercial break, that's right over here, over yeah, here. He'll be joining get us this, with us. Get uh, this beautiful <laughs> bean footage over here. <laughs> when we come back, we will be interviewing Bobby Drake. Take a quick break. Be back in a couple minutes.
All right. Everybody, we are back. Bobby we got Drake. my man Bobby Drake out here, man. What is up, man? Ain't nothing cooling. You already know how it is, AI. Hey, man, I'm starting to see that you got all the anthems, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hold up. I thought I thought the, the gospel was like the one, bro. But I see you got plenty. <laughs> like, you got plethora. You hey, know what I'm saying? I just try to bring something different, you know what I'm saying? I let the music dictate whatever I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For sure, yes. man. For sure. Hello, Reason. How are Uh... Solo like 10 years now. You so you saying? were in a group before? Yeah, I was in a couple of groups. You know what okay. I'm saying? I've done a couple of projects. That's why, you know, I had a couple of step backs and little little bumps in the road. But now I'm moving forward, you know what I'm saying? And focus on my tags. And so you say you've been doing solo for nine years? Yeah. Okay, okay. Nine years. Yeah. How you like it so far? Nine, ten years. Huh? How you like it so far? Yeah, it is what it, it is. is what it is. We in the DMV, so man. Yeah, so when you, went, when you went solo, was it because of creative differences? Was something uh, hold you back or something? It, like, it's bit, you know what I'm saying, business. You know, you got personal differences, you know what I'm saying? Because you're working with people that's like family to you. So you don't want to just immediately turn your back. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes you got to move Gradually on your own. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Now, the album, well, the mixtape, Cold yeah. Case. Yeah. 2K18. Man, what made you come up with that name, bro? Uh, Cold Cases is just like a, it's a plet, uh, uh, it's like a compilation of joints, you know what I'm saying, that I wasn't going to move forward with or do too much with. Like, I did the gospel video just because I like the song, okay. you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's stuff like through some of the things, some of the little uh, groups I was working with recently that, you know what I'm saying, fell off to where I was going ahead and moving forward with the solo thing. Oh my. So that's why they're the cold cases. Like, they ain't, they ain't going nowhere. Oh but my. they do, you know what I'm that's saying? Original. That's really and it's original, cold man. cases with two K's because I'm the coolest cat with two K's, so oh that's my. why it's two K eighteen. Oh my, you know oh what I mean? And everybody at home, if y'all don't notice, the brother got the vampire eyes. And was yeah, I was guy. gonna ask about that. Yeah, but, what's the symbolism yeah. in that? Because you seem like you got a lot of metaphors, man. So I'm uh, pretty sure everything you wearing or something that you're doing says something. You know what I mean? It'll mean yeah, something to you. Yeah, like I said on my man's uh, video, you know what I'm saying? I'm uh, one of my other aliases is the vampire. You know what I'm saying? Esquire early. Cause, you know what I'm saying? I'm a cat that's all about the neck. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't oh biting my. nobody, though. You know oh what I'm saying? Oh, man. You better watch it. It might throw some turds at you or something, man. Like oh, no, no, no. I ain't man. worried about none of that. You know what I'm saying? No. I, ain't, I ain't with garlic or none of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be out in the sunlight and everything. So you know when, you first started rapping, when you first started rapping, when you first started rapping, who were some of your, you looked up to, who were the rappers that you that influenced you? Uh, always outcast, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. initially. Uh, then you got mm -hmm. cats like UGK, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the Southern cats. Then you got cats up north like D Block, Wu Tang. Uh, you know, I love hip hop, so I ain't never really messed with none of the fluff rappers. So you got to be somebody with staying power. You know what, what do you saying? mean? What do you mean by the fluff rappers? Like I know, because I know the gospel. I know you're going on them joints. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, on them, but like cats, everybody out there. Cats that ain't talking about nothing. Uh, they ain't trying to push the culture forward as far as hip hop. They just out here to rap. You know what I'm saying? Get a check maybe. Or just some uh, fame or whatever. Like, right. I ain't never worried about fame. I was always about trying to push a message. Oh you know what I'm saying? Oh, my. Oh, my. So, it speaks volumes, bro. So, speaking of, of, of that, um, coming from the DMV, yep. where historically there have not been a lot of rappers that made noise outside of the DMV. Right. And with being heavily go-go centric. And I always ask this of artists from DMV, how, how was it when you first started rapping coming up in a city that predominantly went to go-go? Like, it's hard because, yeah, like, it's not a go-go city, you know what I'm saying? Pa cats ain't really coming out to see rappers. They want to go see the next band that's performing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Support their people and everybody usually in a band. So, like, I've done the go-go thing, you know what I'm saying? I rapped, like, uh, with a couple of bands that was trying to do something, but that never, it never, bear, never bore fruit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it, it is what it is. You got to do what you love, you know what I'm saying? So I done traveled and tried to get best way I can. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, let me, it's a quick question. Okay, so you have um, songs I saw on YouTube with um, Gift the Gab and... Um, yeah, the money song and the Gift yeah, the Gab, yeah, the old, okay, the old yeah. jokes. Yeah. So how do you feel that you have grown or transitioned from that time frame to now with your music? Um, Like, the the space I was in when I made money, the the old the dough money song and the Gift the Gab, it, it's I went through a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I lost a child in, in between those, uh, that, that transition. No, no problem. You know what I'm saying? Things happen. You know, he's in a better place. He with the Lord. But, you know, uh, 
Yeah, I, I just went through a, a lot of different things in my life. Personally. Transitional period. Yeah, transitional yeah. period. Then, like I said, I had those different uh, groups that I was part of and projects we were working on. So all of that helped me grow as an artist. Right. Uh, sp speaking of growing as an artist, uh, again, with the DMV not being the hotbed for, for hip hop, how does it feel coming from a city where like Wale had to leave right. to get known? You know, how does it feel where it seems like for a hip hop artist out of DC has to leave? Um, yeah, I've heard that a lot. Like, it's like you can't make it here. But I always felt like I wanted to be the one or be one of the people that's going to make it here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's part of the, the road there. Like, a lot of people that are mainstays in the industry, nobody had the same road to get there. You know what I'm saying? So eventually, one of us is going to make it, and then it's going to bridge the gap for everybody else to get in. You know what I'm saying? So why do you think, do you have an idea as to why we have a problem supporting our, our artists? Um, This area is sort of tough on people, period. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter if you're an artist. You could be a, a basketball player. Like, look how everybody got mad at KD because he oh, ain't yeah. come home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he out there though. doing his right. thing. You know what I'm saying? And he's trying to be successful in whatever avenue that he was in. And that's just the way it is around here, period. Like, cats don't want to see the next man come up unless they coming up with them. I'll tell you what was interesting. I moved here uh, indirectly from, from Atlanta. Right. And for better or for worse, depending on how you look at today's hip-hop, <laughs> Atlanta shows hometown love. Right. You know, you had one station had a top eight or eight, you know, top seven, seven or whatever. And seven of the eight, six out of seven will be homegrown artists. Right. So, how is it? Do you get any feedback when going to you know the the quote unquote where hip hop live stations here in DC? Um, yeah, you get a lot of love from the from the stations, but the stations they gonna show love because they trying to help they trying to help bridge the gap and move the culture forward for the DMV area. It's more so reaching the people, the fans. The, you know what I'm saying? We got to get the hip hop fans in the area in, uh, excited about actually going to like a rap show yeah. from cats that they know from their backyard, grew up with. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get cats to even come out to a regular show like just to see their man's performance. You got to do a lot of yeah, people, you know, a lot you of gotta do a now. lot of promotion. Right. right. And you see, you know, you on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. you see a demographic. Where, where you most love that? I'm pretty sure it's like most hip hop heroes is probably in the you know the northern region, probably New York or something like yeah, that. Yeah, with the vibe that you have, bro. Yeah, a uh, little New York, little Midwest. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, it, right. it varies. It's like it's hard because see, like I get a lot of love from folks if I let them hear my uh, I let them hear my CD. You know what I'm saying? In front of me, they tell me that they like the jump. Now it's whether or not they actually telling somebody else right. about that music. Right, Just right, like. Right. You might have a homeboy that does the music and he give you his music. You listen to the jump. You listen to it once or twice. But are you actually telling people about telling it. somebody else, yeah, oh, my yeah. man's does this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or giving constructive criticism because if you don't like it, you should say. Right. Because maybe the artist can work on, you know. Right. And that will also cut down on a lot of the artists that we actually have out here. Because... Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, right. not to be yeah. not to be an asshole because I'm not going to say that a lot of cats suck, but there's not a lot of cats that's talented out here, for real. Mm. And mm. their friends are not telling them that shit. Mm. They just going to be well, like, oh, a yeah, lot of right, A lot of cool. people don't mm. listen to the lyrics. They listen to the beat. Right. Once the beat catches, that's it. So that's what it is. Yeah, and that's where it goes. I, I, so so you, you are in the hip-hop band, as opposed to rap. The rap, anybody can rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Anybody right. that can rhyme over beat is a rapper. But you're more in, in the, the hip-hop band. So... When you hear artists that blatantly say, you know, uh, um, lyrics says taking the back seat or those not mean what it used to, how does that make you feel? Like when you see in there and you still think trying to write a rhyme, how does that make you feel when people and, um, that's doing the stuff that you're doing don't take what they're doing seriously? Um, like it, it's hard to 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 be critical about that per se. Like I can always be critical in my music. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, at the end of the day, everybody got a dream. So some cats, you can't knock they dream. Like they may not be hip hop, but they making rap music. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be happy for them. Maybe doing something to better they self or better they they situation. Right. You know. Right. Right. But as far as the lyrics, like hip hop still gonna be hip hop. Man, we've been nailing your ass with some questions, bro. Like we gonna, I'm gonna ask you something simple, man. All right. 
You like crispy pancakes or fluffy pancakes, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I know, bro. I just had to ask you that shit because, like, bro, we've been killing you, young. We've been giving you straight. We talking questions. I hop a Denny. <laughs> oh my, you're, you're Wa- Waffle House. Oh, Waffle House off the no, off the no, plate, man. No, you know what's no. wrong with black folk? You got, you got, hey. Man, bro, I like many, Waffle House. I'm from the bro, South. Waffle you know? House got to remove all the glass windows before I eat there, bro. It's got to be like a straight jail. Man, you just, just take your knife. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, okay, so you list your 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 um some of your influences as UGK and Outkast, and you say you're originally from the South. But where are you from? Well, I was born in Arkansas. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. I'm a, I was an Air Force brat coming up, so I done been oh. a, a couple of places before I got here. Right. But then, you know... The, the accent never left, but the slang is from it. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That's dope. That's dope, bro. Yeah. Well, so, do you got anything coming up? I know you got the EP that just came out. The mix that just came out, right? Yeah. Are you working on anything like an EP or a full-length yeah. album? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, in the I'm works on, a, on an album. It's called Heart Work. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, how my... Uh, my artwork show you how my heart work. That's that's the okay. idea behind that. Like that. Um, we got a. Uh, I'm also on the uh, the freshman clay journal for Listen Vision. You know what I'm saying? Oh my, so dope, 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 dope. You know what I'm saying? Even that's though I'm probably the vision. oldest cat on there, but <laughs> it don't matter. Here, man. No man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's funny you mention that because you know a lot of people want to criticize you know the quote unquote elder statesman in hip hop. Hip hop is the only genre where people want to put an age on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get somebody, and it's only 35, who's too old, but you got people on rock and roll like Stones. Mm-hmm. Right. It's still touring. Right. ACDC, <laughs> like yeah. 20 years old, looking like a little kid. in the little kid clothes and whatnot, right? <laughs> you know, you got Grateful Dead and all them still alive. Yeah, you know still, what I'm saying? Still touring, still, still making money, so. Right. Like, uh, should, whatever. Should we, but should we, should we let our opinions affect, you know what I'm saying, the youngest, though, man? Because we, you know, Good coming, everybody starts off young. Right. So when it comes to hip hop or whatever, do should we even have an opinion on what they doing? Isn't that not our lane right there, bro? Like you either like this shit or you don't like that. Shit. You know what I, mean? uh, I don't know, man, because some of the stuff that they doing is a little. Uh, That's why I say give constructive that, criticism. But I'm just saying you have to. If in anything you do, you need something to tell you, hey, this is this is not right. This is right. Maybe try this. How about listen to you know? You need some guidance. In yeah. anything that you do, I, I tell you what, hey, I, I'm, I'm obviously not an artist, but to answer your question, this is me and the outside looking in. If you have somebody that has the opportunity to, to better the situation, right? Let's say lights about to get cut off on Monday. If you can make this quick, remember when ringtone was a thing, you can make this quick ringtone sound and change the situation, I, I can't fault you for that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? If that's the human in me. Right. Now the hip hop heritage in me said you need to step your shit up. Right, but, right. But I, I can't be good. That's <laughs> like that's like high schoolers that want to go straight to the NBA. Yo, look, there's a lot of people that don't go to college that work right after. So why can't they? So why can't somebody that wants to make an album make an album? Hey, I have no problem you know? with cats making an album. I just feel like they being too lazy with right. it. Now like I said, man, because I'm from the golden era of hip hop, so right. I have more of a critical, you know, no ear. But I mean, I let the to do their thing because. No 21, no 14 year old right now can tell me what hip hop is. Just like I couldn't tell them. You know what I'm saying? Because my hip hop may not be their hip hop. How am I going to tell somebody about hip hop that they never even heard of? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of strong opinions in that, man. That, look, that's a hell of an answer right there, bro. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, so, no hey, so how about you perform another song for us, bro? Would you mind doing that for us? All right. All right, my man, my man. So, I think the song that everybody here loves and was actually filmed by our own. Jacob, right? Jacob. Yeah. Jacob. 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 Jacob the Jeweler. Listen, this is on. Yeah, Jacob did an outstanding job on yes, that gospel yeah. video. Hey, was that shot in Northeast? Yeah. yeah. Nah, uh, North East, Northwest. Yeah, right North here at the cathedral, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. We got, yeah. some, we got some, some slick shots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's really dope. The song is called The Gospel. And we come back after this commercial break. We'll have Bobby Drake perform mm-hmm. again for y'all, everybody. Yeah. It's live from the corner. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's go. Gotta get a little of this shit for my chest. But let's go, let's oh. go. Hey, yo, man, dog, I get it, get it. Be 
fans don't care about lyrics no more. Yo, man, dog, I get it. If the hook don't crank, song makes no bank. Yo, man, dog, I get it. Niggas ain't you ain't gotta write flows no more. Yo, man, dog, I get it. But guess what, nigga, I ain't with it. Nigga, they say all you need is mumble flow. Or just wear some tight clothes. Here I can be for the hoes. All fake talking about selling gold. None of your verses got no quotes. Ain't none of you dudes really got no smoke. And again, Bobby Drake, everybody. Yeah, you already know. B. Drake, the cool cat. Early and often, law goes on. Yeah. Off my chest, but let's go. Hey, yo, man, dog, I get it. These fans don't care about lyrics no more. Yo, man, dog, I get it. If the hook don't crank, song makes no bank. Oh, man, dog, I get it. Niggas ain't you ain't got to write flows no more. Yo, man, dog, I get it. But guess what, nigga, I ain't with it. Nigga, you say, you need it. Or just wear some tight clothes. Eat my candy for the hoe. All fake talk about selling go. None of your verses got no quotes. Ain't none of you dudes really got no smoke. Just be going ghost, but the black is really worth your soul. Man, dog, I get it. Just sell out for these house niggas. Yeah, man, dog, I get it. Don't tell the youth about the truth out here. Yo, man, dog, I get it. Just be a dummy, cause you're talking country. Oh, yeah, bruh, I get it. But hell no, I ain't with it, nigga. What's the gospel? The gospel? What's the gospel? What's the gospel? What's the gospel? My nigga, what's the gospel? What's the gospel? My nigga, what's the gospel? That just mean the good word. Yeah, what's the good word to my nigga smoking herb? Everybody in the hood, everybody in the bird. Everybody with a middle finger to the bird. When I say what's the gospel? Dog, I get it. Get the ring tang in the big house. Yeah, yo, man, dog, I get it. My people get bananas all living without yo, man, dog, I get it. They'll make you a slave, so you best behave. Yo, man, dog, I get it. That's a catch 22, do you see it? Nigga, whole time I be stacking dough. And you know, repping the go. That's the nigga B. Drake. Nigga, that just stay so froze. Getting all your fucking hoes. Just to suck up on my pole. Up and down motions on the like a piston off the low. Right B. Yo, ho, coming out my closet, bro. That's what it is, shorty. You know what it is, shorty. Coming up in this party, damn these streets, I'm all loaded. You know what we trying to do? We trying to get it in, shorty. What's the gospel? The gospel. What's the gospel? What's the gospel? My nigga, what's the gospel? What's the gospel? My nigga, what's the gospel? That just means the good yeah, what's the good word to my nigga smoking herb? Everybody in the hood, everybody in the burp. To everybody with a middle finger to the burp. When I say what's the gospel, I mean the good word. I'm here. I get it. I'm here. I'm here. Get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. B. Drake, cool cat. Law goes on. Hey, listen, man, let them know where they can find you at, B. Drake. Yeah, they want to book you somewhere. Can they find you at? Yeah, y'all can find me on Instagram at loud underscore T R E E Z. Loud trees. <laughs> Early, often, <laughs> pussy and coffin. B. Drake, never losing. Oh man, and if you don't notice, we have the liveest DJ in the house over there, B-Dub. B-Dub, the boy wonder. Standing next to that slow cooker. No, that is not the new DJ, whatever the hell. That's not all 2 d 2 That is one of Miss Dankness's creations. I don't know what the hell is. That's what she cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so make, that make sure to come here every Tuesday, 12 to 10, for Tasty Tuesdays. With all our great vintage we got here. And check us out every Friday from 12 to 8 for Fire Fridays. And Freestyle, you got bars come out spit. Richard Taylor, you can find me. 
Instagram, Twitter at Breezy Taylor. That's B R E A Z Y. Red, where can they find you at? They can find me on Facebook at Louisa Harrell and Instagram at Lovely Beautiful Mind 30. I might come up here on Friday and do my poetry. Y'all want me to come do some poetry? No. Yes, you do. No. You I, did. You really don't want to do poetry up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I can hey, rap look, too. And I'm AM. Hey, you can find me on Facebook at AM McDowell Ferguson. You can hit me up at IG at Red Nose 1999, Twitter Red Nose 199, and the Red Nose stands for the pit bull, not the clown. And find me at your mama's house trying to recycle some of them great biscuits that she make. All right, you heard me? <laughs> it's live from the corner. We out shit. We out here.